They're beautiful and they are difficult to describe and they are really unique. With any work of art, um, there is that sense of, there's an emotional attachment to it for sure. Gertrude Vandeville Whitney and Howard Gardner Cushing were close friends and colleagues. They were both the type of artists who painted for the passion of the process. Selling their art was not a, a major motive. The whole thing begins from this bottom floor and extends upward to the top level as if the staircase didn't exist. And as you reach the top of the stairs, there's Gertrude Vanderbilt Whitney greeting you. It's been a, a year-long process from the first site visit to the time that we entered the building to start work. It has actually held up exceedingly well for something that is 106 years old. The first thing we had to deal with was the stability of the uh, actual paint surface. Parts of it were literally hanging by just really sheer luck. They've cut squares of Japanese tissue. They're adhering it with synthetic material, which is easily removable without affecting the paint surface. This is part one of the job, and it's broken down into three phases. Set down, facing, and removal. And then we have the studio work, which is infusion, removal of facing, cleaning, and then painting, restretching. You never exhale during the removal. It's always like a, you know, your, your stomach is just sort of in your throat. Very exciting project for me and obviously for the Cushing family.